Dear friends, myself, Professor Dr. Sham Sundar, working as a senior consultant nephrologist. Today, let us understand about the pedal edema. What are its causes? How to diagnose it? And how to treat it? What do you mean by edema? Edema refers to the swelling of any part of body, which may be due to injury, inflammation, infections, drugs, allergy, and various medical causes. And by pedal edema refers to the swelling of the dependent part of the body, like in standing position, the dependent part will be the, over the feet, ankles, over the legs is a soft tissue sort of swelling. If you try to put pressure by thumb over it, there will be formation of the pit over the swelling. Hence, it is known as pitting pedal edema. If we try to understand the mechanism of the pedal edema, is predominantly due to the high pressure system in the venous and in the capillary. And there is a leakage of fluid outside from the capillary into the surrounding soft tissue will lead to the soft tissue swelling. And the other important cause may be sometimes is due to the low albumin or low protein level in the blood. It acts as an oncotic agent and osmotic agent. If we look for the medical causes of the pedal edema, there are various medical causes. Number one, there may be blockage of the leg, leg veins, there may be thrombosis or there may be a clot. And because of that, there is a backflow of the blood into the venous system. Venous become engorged and there is a leakage of fluid from the capillary. If we look for the cause of this venous thrombosis, it is usually some sort of injury to the vessel or there is an increased coagulation of the blood in the veins which leads to clot formation and thrombus formation. Similarly, the swelling can be due to the infection or inflammation of the leg. This is known as cellulitis. There is a red color, painful swelling over the legs. The other cause may be the preeclampsia of the pregnancy. Usually, the pregnant lady in the third trimester, they have a high, develop high blood pressure and they may accompany by a leakage of the protein from the kidney to the urine, which is called proteinuria. And they only manifest with the swelling of the legs sometime on the face. And this usually disappears after the delivery. Other most important and commonest cause of the pedal edema is due to the kidney diseases. In the kidney diseases, there is a leakage of excessive amount of the protein into the urine, which is called proteinuria. And it appears as a froth in the urine. And most of the patients come and complain that they are passing a lot of froth in the urine and they have a swelling over the feet. It's called froth urea. Normally, persons in 24 hour passes just only 150 milligram of the protein. Anything above this amount is known as proteinuria. If the person passes excessive amount of protein in the urine that may be more than 3.5 gram, it is called nephrotic syndrome. It is a syndrome, it has a multiple component of this syndrome complex. Most of the, all the patients will have a swelling all over the body, which appear first in the feet or in the periorbital area and is accompanied by the Heavy proteinuria, there is more than 3.5 grams. If you see the serum albumin will be less than 3 grams. And there is lipid disorder. If you see the serum, it will have high cholesterol, high triglyceride. It mainly results uh, because of the, some sort of injury or inflammation of the filtering unit. There are about 10 million filtering unit in our kidneys. And it is a nephron, it has a glomerulus filtering unit, is a cup like shape. And in this cup like shape, there is filter membrane, which is cap glomerular capillary, which has a very, very small micropores. And these micropores become, pores become larger in size. Hence, there is a leakage of a lot of protein in the urine. And if you look for the cause, 
usually they require kidney biopsy to look for the underlying cause it is due to the inflammation which is called glomerulonephritis the other important cause is cirrhosis of the liver where liver is shrunken and it has a decreased function and there is a decreased synthesis of the protein albumin associated with high pressure in the vein exception in the abdominal vein or portal venous hypertension they usually manifest because of low protein and high venous pressure the edema over the legs or the face and marked distension of abdomen which is due to the ascites so they develop with because of the ascites develop with manifest with ascites and pedal edema other important cause is known as congestive heart failure here the heart is enlarged ventricles are contracting very weakly the force of contraction is weak hence there is a backlog of the blood in the venous system veins gets, gets congested venous pressure is high hence there is leakage of fluid into the legs as well as in the face and sometime in the lung, lungs which leads to pulmonary edema they complained of usually breathlessness easy tiredness and pedal edema will be there sometimes many of the patient are heavy malnutrition protein chlorine malnutrition the protein intake is very poor and the albumin and protein levels are very low in the blood they also lead to the swelling all over the body and little bit about the treatment part of edema i'll always advise whenever you have a any part of edema in the face or the feet you must immediately go to the treating physicians or nephrologists to look for the underlying cause he will do the battery of the test to find out the underlying cause and a treatment of the underlying cause is extremely important to alleviate from the pedal edema other general precaution is salt restriction in this patient because if you take excess of salt the bp will become very high it will retain lot of fluid and develops edema over the body in a kidney failure you try to restrict the fluid intake other regarding the because of edema due to the venous blockage i'll say usually it is diagnosed by ultrasound and doppler study and with the minimal leg elevation elastic stockings will help and you will require some blood thinner and i'll advise you once again this edema in the body or the legs can be due to the liver problem kidney problem heart problem or blockage of the vein you must consult nearby a doctor and treat the underlying cause that has to be and the diuretics which can be used to alleviate the edema may be furosemide torsemide thiazides or spironolactone sometimes you have to use combination judiciously or sometimes even in iv form thank you very much